All right, we're gonna run over just a few basics on the SS and some mounting options. Um, first of all, just to get you going, it's really super easy. There's a power button right here on the very top edge of the gimbal. You just push that down. You'll see this light will start flashing. We're on. To power up the motors and get them activated, you just hold this gold button down for a second. And this also acts like your mode button. So you can see right now, we are in the default mode, which is just the follow mode. And if you wanna go into the tilt pan follow mode, just click that twice. Now you'll see as I'm moving the camera up and down, it's gonna follow with the tilt as well. And then if I click it once again to go back into mode one, now you can see it's gonna hold that position again. Now if I click it again one time, it's gonna go into a lock mode. So if I wanna lock it into a certain heading, I can push it one time there. Now you can see as I'm turning, it's gonna hold this position. So really easy to get back out of that, just click it one time. So it's really nice if you know where you're going, you're gonna be walking a certain direction or moving a certain direction, you can lock it in, that way you don't get any extra side to side movement. So mounting options. This is where it gets a little fun. This comes with it and this is a little mount for all of the accessories for the GoPro will fit with this. So this just screws right onto the bottom of the gimbal and then you can mount it to almost anything that GoPro has, like their chest mount. This just clips right in there. You screw that in, you can tighten it up. It's adjustable that way, pretty nice. Uh, we did find that with the chest mount, you do get a little bit of up and down wiggle just because you can't quite get it tight enough. So we found these on Amazon and this is called a roost guard and it's for mountain biking. And uh, we just drilled a hole in the top of it here and we were able to put a quarter 20 screw right through there. And then we can just mount it right onto the front of the, of the chest mount. And this, because it's so rigid all the way down, you're getting a lot more support in this area. So you, you're not getting any kind of jiggle, whereas these little bands on the GoPro mount, they tend to stretch out a little bit once you get a little weight on the front of it. So um, pretty easy. You just wear it like this. And as you're biking or running or skiing or whatever, you don't really even have to think about your camera because it's just right there. If you are riding or skiing or doing whatever you're doing with this, if you do want to adjust it so that it will hold a position and I want to maybe make it tilt down a little bit so I can see the tips of my skis, I can just go ahead and twist it and hold it for a second. When I let go, it's going to hold that position. So you don't need any remotes or any kind of external anything. You just basically can say, oh, I'd rather see the sky and point it up towards the sky a little bit, hold it and it's gonna hold that position. So we do offer a Bluetooth controller for it and it's also an app that you can control all the functions and update the firmware and everything like that through the app. So I'll put the video to the app right after this video so you can go check that out and see how to get it. Thanks for watching, have fun, get creative. If you guys think of something that would be helpful for us to show our other customers, please let us know.